Hi, Kaylee Hall coming to you live, loud and local from the front of my art gallery in New Zealand. Pretty cool, right? Um, so this is just my first run at this. It's a bit of a mess, but uh, I just thought it'd be really interesting to do it inside of the gallery. If I have to pause and stop, it's because somebody's walking in the front door of the gallery, but let's see how we go. Um, so Pennywise, I've done a background search on this guy, uh, Dirk Van Dam. None of the news stories are reporting on him because he hasn't been charged with anything. But you know, we should, and you should. So I'm just going to play some of the story of her being found. Today, leaving a man's home in Rockford. 13 on your side's Marcus Key joins us from the newsroom with more on this story, Marcus. Lauren, the Kent County Sheriff's Department says they still have a lot to do during their investigation in this case, and we do hope to learn more about that later this week. But for now, Penny's parents tell me they are simply relieved that she's alive. We received a phone call about quarter to one um, from the lead detective stating that Penny had been found and that she was okay. The news came from police earlier today that 17-year-old Penny Wise had been found alive, seen this morning around 11 a.m. leaving a home in Rockford. It's surreal knowing that she's been found. Um, we still don't, haven't been able to lay eyes on her, so I think once we're able to actually see, see her, her, it will sink in hugger. even more. I mean, we are very relieved that she's been found. I'm glad that I was wrong in thinking that it wasn't going to end well. So we're very relieved. Officials say during their initial investigation, they learned wives had been living with an older man in the city of Rockford, where less than two weeks ago, an extensive search of several acres carried out by the FBI and Kent County Sheriff's Office took over the city of Rockford. Just hours ago, Penny left the home on a bicycle. She was later seen by a community member who then called police. There's no connection that we know of right now uh, between Penny and the gentleman that she was staying with. Uh, it was somebody that was unknown to us in our investigation. Nah, her family didn't know about this individual, and neither did we. So we are trying to sort through the details and see if she had been there the entire time she was missing or if she had just been staying there recently. Missing for nearly two months, Penny's father says the family is still processing the difficult seven weeks of not knowing where she was to now knowing she will be coming home. Yeah. This is still so fresh at this point that we haven't even really been able to come to grips with this is actually happening in a good way now. Now they say they are counting their blessings and thanking the community and those who helped them through the difficult times. We are so thankful for the community support, for the statewide, nationwide, worldwide support, really. I mean, right. I'm just going to, oh, all right, I'll let her finish. It's been shared all over the world in various locations. And for now, the Kent County Undersheriff says Penny remains in their custody as they continue their investigation. We don't know when she will be finally getting home, uh, but of course we'll update you when we learn that. For now. Right. So, I don't know if she's, is she, I think Penny might be adopted into the family. There's a lot of kids in that picture, all similar ages and, diff and different ages, but uh, why is she staying with the police? Because the police are going to have to try and keep her safe, right? They can't send her back there and she runs off again, so they have to figure out what's going on at home first. I noticed both the parents there, both the parents are wearing sunglasses in this. Normally, they should just tell them to take the sunglasses off. Might be a sunny day. I just thought that was unusual that they're wearing glasses for this interview. You can't see their faces. So, um, but... No blame on the parents. No one's been charged, right? They haven't released this, uh, what's his name? Van Dam? Dirk Van Dam, right? So I've paid for a background search. So if you want to help support the channel, please hit the membership button or do a super chat, super thanks um, on this uh, video. There's a dollar sign thing down there, and uh, YouTube tells me to do a call to action. A call to action and say, hey, friends out there, help me to do these background searches on these uh, people that are doing bad things. Why haven't they charged them? Because she's 17 and um, they're saying he hasn't done anything wrong. I think the laws, I think you need to have a penny law. Um, in some states, we saw in the, in the um, Chris Greger trial that there's a duty of care law. 
duty of care is if you are so far over the age of that person, um, because when Bre in the Chris Greger case, when when he R A P E D Rihanna, she was only sixteen, right? And he was, I think, in his twenties, right? So there's a duty of care law that is available in some states. This guy that she's been staying with is forty four. She's seventeen, right? It's too far. Is that twenty seven years? So here's a duty. I think the law they'd be able to find a law, the duty of care law, that because he's over twenty years older than her, right? Even half, like double her age, would be thirty four, right? He's forty four. So duty of care should should he should be going to jail for this duty of care? He's got a responsibility to find her family and get her back safe. Now she might have told him, well, I don't know what he, she's told him, so I can't put words in her mouth. But um, let's bring up, let's bring him up. Uh, let's have a look at my images. We'll just see what we've got here. This is all a new setup for me, so I'm sorry if it. Uh, um, right here's an older photo of him. He's, uh, and why did they give her the? You know, I've got an unusual name like Kaylee, C A L E Y. Um, and I had to go to school with that. Like, I was so annoyed at high school the whole time because Kaylee is like a girl's name, but not originally. Originally, Kaylee means boy of fear and splendor. And my parents gave me that because of our Gaelic background. Um, but I was born in New Zealand, right? And so are my parents, and so are my grandparents. You know, I've got generations of New Zealanders going back to the 1800s. And then before that, my family goes up through William Shakespeare's sister, Joan Hart. Interesting, right? Anyway, so I was sort of like people going, why did they call her Pennywise? They would have known that, right, that, that clown movie, the horror movie. But Penny's a lovely name. I know Penny's. I know a couple of Penny's. Penelope's a cool name, but they should have known. But if Penelope's watching this, my name, Kaylee, growing up, I just did my head in, right? Like, because everyone at school, any bullies at school would be like, Kaylee's a girl's name. Well, now it's a pretty good artist name, and I'm really well known as an artist in New Zealand, so I'm happy with Kaylee. It's all good. I'm happy with Penny and Wise as well, but she's going to get that for the rest of the night, her life too. Um, maybe she wants to marry out of that name, right? She said she got engaged. Maybe she just wants to get rid of the last name Wise. Um, so the police aren't going to let her go if she isn't safe back at that house or safe from this guy. If he's not charged with anything, he might be trying to find her. So who knows? I'm just, I'm just, uh, what do you call it? Speculating there. Um, there he is there, Dirk Van Dam. Dirk Elliot Van Dam. Uh, here's his booking details. He's actually 44, right? Um, inmate ID. So, yeah, that's him there. Right, so I'm just going to pause and bring up the background search. It cost me just over thirty something dollars USD, which is a uh, it's a lot in New Zealand. It's like forty five dollars. So please consider joining the channel, super chat, super thanks, and uh, comment in the comment section. Uh, I will point out that see it says charges zero, so um, you know that's why the none of the news. Companies are brave enough to report on it, but they should report on it. He has a duty to care for the 17-year-old girl that looks like a 12-year-old. She looks really young to me, so not good. And neither is his record. Let's have a look at it. Right, so got to be super careful with this stuff because you're doxing people here, and I don't want to. I'm not going to give his address, his phone number. I, I've got everything, right? Full background search. Um, so we've got speeding. That's fine. but. This next bit isn't. 2018. So only, what, six years ago? No valid registration certificate. Domestic violence, third offence notice. So it's third offence for domestic violence. Home invasion, first degree. In the first degree. So that should be like home invasion, first degree. That should be really high charges. Um, Domestic violence, second offence notice. Child abuse in the fourth degree. So he's a child abuser. Hello. Assault with intent, grievous bodily harm, less murder. One step below murder. 
So we're lucky she's still alive, right? But this isn't the charges for her. This is his past, 2018. Um, so I've got to turn my head because I haven't got the screens quite set up. I probably need to have one here that I can read the screen there. So we're getting there, right? Um, right. Building $200, but less than $1,000. I don't know what that means. Family non-payment of child support. So he's got kids and he isn't paying child support. And he's done for child abuse, so that's not good. Domestic violence, second offender knows it's not specified. Um, oh, so June 2024, they filed the chart. 2020, they filed those charges, starting four years ago. Home invasion, first degree. Disposition, serving sentence. Oh, so he must be... Man, did he get home detention then? So he's serving a dis his sentence, and she's staying with the guy while he's... Oh, man. Discharge reason, offender discharge, assault with intent, grievous bodily harm, Kent, Michigan. Status, discharge. Okay, so that one's from 2007. I'm not sure what this is. Rest booking numbers, 2015, 2016. Non-payment of child support, 2023. So it's child support non-payments of last year. Domestic violence, second offence is in 2015. Release 2016. In custody. This is inmate number 00171802-2023. Right, so offender tracking system. So he's on a watch list as a tracked offender. Dirk Elliott Van Dam, born July 1980. He's 5'10". Assault with the intent, grievous bodily harm, less murder. Offender discharge 2007. Wow, one step below murder. So, uh, where was that? I'll just pause. Right, so as well as him being a child abuser and a sex offender and all of that, <laughs> I'm not getting monetized for this video. You're going to have to support the channel. Um, these are also all the other sex offenders that live around where she was found in Rockford um, and I don't mind um, oh gave his address this is just one of the this guy here is just one of the other six offenders amongst the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 so 18 other offenders live in that area nearby right but some videos I've done there's like hundreds of offenders that live near near victims so, you know, you've got to really be resilient with these kids and teach them that it's not safe out there. But so I know that the police will be assessing her on her safety back at home before they release her and the safety from this guy because he is not charged. Um, but they need to look at that duty of care law and um, get him on that. Get that guy. So if you found this at all um, interesting, um, Please give me a thumbs up. Um, let me turn that off. Sorry for all the yums. <laughs> there he is. Instead of plastering Penelope's uh, name all over social media. <clears throat> do this one instead. Mm. Dirk Elliot Van Dam. So I'm happy with that video. Thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below. Um, just wait for your comment. YouTube has a, I've got a strict comment uh, section thanks to YouTube's new new settings to stop anti, to stop bullying online, right? Um, so type your comment, wait for YouTube to release it, and then have your conversations below about the situation. And thanks to Brittany, you know who you are, for hooking me up with this um, name. I appreciate it. Um, that's cool. I can do the background searches here in New Zealand. 
happy to help. Happy to spend my money comes out of my pocket, but I need the support from you guys as well. Please like, share, subscribe, share it on social media and people on Reddit, people that are talking about this case. Poor old Pennywise. We need to say, hey, Penny, come into our community. You know? I mean, a community that care about these kids. She's a kid. Her brain isn't going to fully develop until she's 25. Now she's having this trauma. You know, Penny's going through absolute trauma. Teenagers are out of control as it is, right? Their brains are out of control. So um, we care about her. We want her to be safe. And we want these sex offenders to be fucking locked up at minimum. It's, you know, they say murder is the worst, but the, these sex offenders, they, um, She's going to need an STD test, right? Even though they say nothing happened. So if she's been at his apartment for a month, come on, man. Come on. Not good. All right. Stay safe.